I wanted to share a couple of my recent studies and character designs, talking through my process and how I ended up with my final concepts. So in the previous video, I started studying more challenging subjects such as armor, which I wasn't too experienced with. And while I still have more to practice on it, learning trickier subjects always helps to improve my overall drawing abilities. So I decided to choose another subject I struggle with and then combine the two together. I landed on birds as I always found drawing the wings really difficult. And also one of the other videos I'm working on requires me to draw a bird character. So I thought this was probably the best chance to study this subject. I begin with some observation sheets, just looking at references, studying them and drawing them out. I think about how much I can simplify the drawing, trying to use as little lines as possible, since I have a tendency to overuse and overdraw lines, which I find in the end just makes my designs look a little too heavy and messy. I don't focus too much on characterization for the first one, just mostly looking more at shapes and curves. I focus in on owls for these observation sheets, mostly because they're the ones I find a little trickier to draw. I then create another sheet where I try to add a bit more characterization into them, and it felt much easier to simplify it knowing how the basic anatomy of the bird works. This was where I thought about trying to draw more solidified character designs, just as a fun exercise to put my studies to the test and hopefully get some more visuals for my portfolio. I decided to combine my previous prompt of ink nights with the birds to formulate some new unique characters. I begin by thumbnailing some initial visual ideas, which helps me to get a sense of how I could construct my characters around the theme. I decide to create two characters, one inspired by an inkwell and the other by a quill pen. I was going to do a third character, but I decided to just focus on the two, mostly because this project was already getting a little longer than I expected it to. The first one I started on was Quill, whose design I wanted to be mostly sort of like long with hints of curves to resemble a quill pen. I decided on a swan as the bird inspiration since the curves and the length of the neck reminded me of like sort of the quill visual and when looking it up swan feathers were apparently utilised for the pens which I thought was a nice little visual link. A bow and arrow is the weapon I chose for this character since I liked the idea of the arrows looking like quill pens and I made the quiver resemble an ink pot so it looks like a bunch of pens in the ink which I thought was like a nice little visual. I went for a simple design for the bow making the curves look like two swans which are then connected in the middle. I use a lot of lines in the clothing design to draw the eye up and down and get that sense of length. And while there's not too much in the way of armour, I do design a little helmet which I try to make resemble a pen nib with a feather coming out of the top of it. As well as doing one final design, I draw a couple more poses and show some more details from my design process as I thought this would look better for a portfolio and help to show more of my thinking. And I was pretty happy with this design overall. I really tried to focus more on concepts and visual motifs rather than complexity as I'm still learning a lot, especially when it comes to creating turnarounds and poses of the same character. My next design focused on the theme of an inkwell and I felt going for a rounder, smaller design would contrast nicely with quill. I used a songbird as my bird type, but it was more so just inspiration for the rounder shape. I begin with my thumbnail ideas, not forcing too much detail, most, mostly focusing again on shape language and fun visual concepts. I decide to make the weapon a shield to add to the roundness of the design. I land on a thumbnail idea I like and then I begin sketching it out. I try to be a bit more adventurous with the armour here and add a chest plate, uh, like a whole body plate type visual. I draw out the armour first with the symmetry tool on Procreate so it's a bit easier to then translate the design onto the character. After that I then sketch out a couple of shield ideas, trying to use visuals like ink pots and uh, sort of splats of ink to inspire the design. And then when I'm pretty happy with the line work I start on the colour and I use roughly the same colour palette as I did for Quill so there's a bit more unity between them. I feel I could have done the shield a bit better, but painting metal, especially layers of metal, is not a confident skill I have, but it's definitely something I'll work more on and practice in the future. In the end, I was really pleased with both the designs, especially Quill. I loved how their design turned out and how I was able to draw multiple poses of them without too much difficulty. Usually starting these types of small study projects always feels daunting when I begin, but getting that end result is definitely worth it and it makes me a lot more ready for the next one.